Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a framework called Ghost. This is an Android framework. We're gonna go ahead and showcase some cool stuff that we can do with this and connect to Android devices. And I wanna show you from soup to nuts how to do so. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into it and have some fun. All right, folks, so what we're gonna be talking about, like I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about Ghost Framework. So what is Ghost Framework? Ghost Framework is an Android post-exploitation framework that exploits the Android debug bridge to remotely access an Android device. So recently I was doing some testing, I got onto this tool, I got introduced to this tool, sorry, and I was able to exploit some Android devices, which I thought were really, really cool. So what I did, I downloaded. If you guys wanna see this, I can showcase it, but I you know, I just wanted to set this up for the lab. So I have an Android device right here, right? So my IP address, I'll try to zoom this in because it's really small and I don't know how to zoom it in. So I just downloaded it from, I guess it was called OS, let me, before I talk shit, it's called osboxes.org and you can just download Android devices. So you just download the VMDK, you install it into your VMware and you can boot this up and here we are, okay? So my IP address to my Android device is 192.168.100.216, okay? So obviously it has to be on the same network in this case, but if you're doing a real assessment, you're looking online, you're doing reconnaissance, you're finding this on Shodan or whatever, and I wanna show, show you guys how to do that as well, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's come back over to our Kali machine. So first things first, what, I already have this installed because I, like I said, I wasn't expecting to make a video. I already had this installed from a previous engagement that I was helping out. So what you can do is come down, you can install it right here, just like, whoops. These super, super easy installation. So get clone, pretty much copy, copy, everything, just follow the steps, right? So it's super easy. Get clone, CD to the ghost, uh, CH mod, the install.sh, sudo sh, or sudo install sh, and then CH mod to the ghost, and then you run it, okay? So let's go ahead and open up a command. So like I said, let me go CD dot dot really quick. Let me make this a little bigger, okay? So now if I do an LS, we have, these are all my tools, so I wanna do get into ghost. Okay, so now let's do an LS here. And we can see all the files that we needed to do, right? So if I, you know, if you come back here, the next thing you do is chmod, etc. But I already did all this, okay? So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that process again. So what I'm gonna do is just run ghost. Okay, it's gonna start the ghost server, 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 der. Okay, so now we can come up here and we can see that it was uh, developed by these folks. Kudos to you for your smart brains. And now we have, what is it, 20, 27 different options. So you can see like if you are connected to any devices, you can say, okay, select number one. If you wanna disconnect from any devices, you can go ahead and click number two or type in number two, but we wanna to connect to a new device, right? So let's type in number three, easy peasy. So now we need to have the IP address to our machine or to our phone, our device. In my case, it's 192.168.100.216. Okay, hit, it, hit enter. Now we are connected on port 5555. Now if we come back up here, we can see, okay, we wanna access different access device uh, shell. Let's, for an example, number four. So let's type in number four here, okay? Now we are on the shell of that machine. Right, so if I do an if config, we can see, okay, this is the IP address of my quote unquote phone or device, Android device, right? Pretty cool, isn't it? So now if I can do ls, we can see, okay, these are all the files that are in that directory. PWD, we can see we're in the root of, the, of this phone or this device. So it's pretty slick, isn't it? So this is how you connect with this tool and you know you can say okay turn off Wi-Fi. You can emulate button press uh, button presses. You can do so much stuff. Let's go ahead and see. 
for an example, dump the info. Let's go ahead and do number 13 because that's something I did on my engagement. Let's go ahead and go exit out of here. And let's see, let's go, what is it, 13, did I say? Uh, 13, yeah, let's go ahead and type in number 13. And now we're dumping every single thing from that device. We can come up here, we can see, let's come all the way up to the top. And we can see session tokens, we can see uh, Windows State, just so much stuff. There's just a boatload. And the reason why we dumped it is just for obviously, just to, to check it out. But there's so much stuff here, right? Uh, let's keep, let's go all the way up. We can see, okay, all the Google stuff, Android. There's this boatload. If you want to do this, just go ahead and just, you know, parse through it. You can see, all right, these are the different PIDs. We can see different sessions. I believe like it runs like an NMAT, uh, uh, Netstat as well, if I remember correctly, I think. Or did we run Netstat? Let me see something. <clears throat> Let me go back to four and do Netstat. Yeah, so I think maybe we just did Netstat once we were on the device to see if there's any other connections made with that device, okay? <clears throat> so that's pretty much that. I wanna go ahead and exit out of here and then exit out of here as well. And now what I wanna show you guys is how you actually do this in the real world. I don't condone this. Don't go ahead trying to connect to random devices on the internet because that's no bueno and that's probably in a gray area of gonna get in trouble. But I wanna show you how we as pen testers find this information out on the interwebs, okay? So I'm probably gonna gray it out. I'll probably do that. But for an example, if we come out to Shodan, obviously, Folks know what Shodan is. I've made videos on Shodan before. It's just a search engine for IoT devices. So what you need to, what you need to do, let's just come back here so I don't have to misspell anything. And we can just say Android Debug Bridge. Let's copy this, okay? And let's go ahead and paste that here, okay? Oh, if I can spell, I missed the A here. Whoops, yeah, no, no. No results because uh, I'm a dumb dumb and I misspelled it. All right, so now once we click on enter here, we should start getting Android Debug Bridge devices. Okay, I wanna go ahead and gray this out, but you guys get the gist. There's 20,548 20, results. And what we did, <clears throat> we as pen testers, we got the scope of the engagement, we got the IP addresses, and we went out to see if this was result or if the result came back to the IP address that we had in scope and then we went and used this tool to remotely access these devices. So this is pretty much the conclusion for this video. I just wanted to showcase this cool tool that I recently used and I thought it was really cool so I wanted to showcase it. So hopefully you guys found it informative. If you have any questions leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.